johon mä vuoksemaan. NHL has traditionally been good for us and for our customers. This fall, Colossus Pets started to offer NHL betting bulls. On 15 of the December, you won 24,000 euros with ESPC analysis. Tell me a little bit about that huge win. Yeah, to start with, of course, we were very lucky. Uh, you don't hit every day 24,000 uh, with a six euro stake. And it's very important to understand that we like betting tolls mathematically optimized, reduced betting positions, which means that via our genetic algorithms, we try to find coupons and tickets, which do not include too many of difficult combinations, nor those favorite combinations, which are bad value, I mean, which give too low odds compared to even relatively high percentages to hit. So, uh, but yeah, uh, being said that, uh, we do pretty accurate probably estimates on NHL and we build up the positions cleverly. So, uh, uh, we hit those tiny coupons more often than we should and we win big money more often than we should and actually we uh, Colossus Bets offers a possibility to cash out uh, part of a winnings or even the fall win before the decisive matches and we actually took over 13,000 already before the decisive uh, Edmonton Toronto game was played and uh, well it, it ended to nice score and we even got that extra 10,000 and 24 altogether but uh, uh, even with slightly worse luck we would have won 10,000. So uh, that was I repeat a lucky hit but it, you, you can help your luck by working hard, having experience, having genuine interest to what you are doing. And uh, uh, I can't know beforehand. It's a dynamic market. Our opponents get better. Ice hockey uh, is a dynamic game which changes and uh, develops over time. I don't know, nor can I guarantee, nor I want to guarantee that we are going to win, even in the future. But because it is my best guess that we'll win, so <laughs> I keep investing my own money uh, in cost syndicates and in private betting and uh, my excellent crew, which uh, makes the analysis and spreads the coupons and so on they risk their own money profitably as well. Okay, could you be a little more specific? What is the secret of yours and ESP's NHL success? Well, uh, those fundamentals are that uh, ice hockey is for us, and actually even for most of us Finns, almost uh, something which you inherit when you are born. Ice hockey is with us most of part of my life. Uh, for fun I took, uh, uh, I saw my first ice hockey game when I was six years old and uh, I traveled to see black and white film of the Stanley Cup final between Philadelphia Flyers and Boston Bruins to a local department store when I was kind of eight years old. And uh, I traveled to Las Vegas in order to bet ice hockey first time in 1989. And I had been betting uh, NHL since 1985. 
with Gary Bowman's legendary American sports in Manchester. And uh, I didn't find those oldest uh, Nevada sports schedules from my very early Las Vegas trips, but because I, I went back to Vegas uh, many years and spent six, seven weeks as long as there, uh, then I sent uh, two uh, uh, runners who were decent uh, sportsmen in Finland to train in Nevada throughout the winter. So we had been very active in NHL already before the uh, internet area. And uh, this is another nostalgic thing. A very old uh, video game from 1980s, Wayne Gretzky Hockey. So we love the game and what that has to do with sports betting is that you, uh, if you love the game and understand what's happening and uh, are fan for the players and, and so on, you make better analysis than you would do if you were just uh, doing betting via the very developed, good, nowadays modern artificial intelligence meadows and databases and things, which we do now with European sports spring consultants. So here comes my point. Have a look. I'm gray hairs, old man, but I take the most out of today's computer technology, databases, artificial intelligence, analysis, and I combine those things to my burden and love to ice hockey and uh, to the long working hours of my staff. I watch almost every morning uh, the NHL eight minutes condensed games. So it's our secret of our success is combination of that all. And uh, to be honest, the margins are very thin. It's no Rags to Riches story. But the advantage of NHL is that uh, they play a lot. And when it comes to Colossus bets, we have an extra advantage because we can build up those syndicates better than nobody. We combine very good uh, choices without making the lines over difficult. Like, like in that which we won uh, before the Christmas, we had many draws, then Carolina to win with four goals or more, and uh, in the final leg, which as I said, we hedge away partly. Total to Maple Leaves with three goals. So we kind of combine the good value scores with each other on the day, but even the combinations remain profitable. That, that's too long story to that, uh, that thing. So <laughs> next question. Well, the season is now at its halfway point. Are there any teams which points totals, for example, doesn't reflect their true ability at the moment? Yeah, well, that's a good question. Actually, there are many teams uh, of that kind. Uh, I, I quite brutally talk about luck, even if both injuries and uh, those goaltending percentages and shooting percentages, of course, are not purely luck. With good training and physiotherapy and thing, you can avoid injuries up to a certain extent. And even more when it comes to, of course, good goaltenders have better save percentages than the worst goaltenders have. And Patrick Laine has better shooting percentage than fourth liner from Detroit Red Wings. But it's easier to talk about luck, shooting luck, 
and uh, interlock. And those two factors are the ones which cause the biggest differences between games won and what is the actual standard of the team. So if we start with the injuries luck, uh, we have listed, or my excellent crew has listed here to my <laughs> video production paper, that the teams with a lot of injuries so far have been Pittsburgh, Columbus, Detroit, Buffalo, Boston and Colorado. And uh, Pittsburgh has of course been most affected by the injuries so far because Evgeny Malkin and Sidney Crosby are one of the best hockey players in the history. And now Red Wings uh, spent a big part of their salary uh, budget to those two players. And as I have many times said in my book, the quality of the team is quite close to its salary budget or the market value of the players, right? So now everybody can understand that if Malkin and Crosby, I'm pretty bad in the sports trivia, but if I remember right, there are not many games this season Pittsburgh has been able to play the both in the same game. One of them has been away in the biggest part of the games, right? So now when Pittsburgh gets both back, they uh, uh, are much better and actually they have been betting Pittsburgh pretty aggressively now when they get both back. Uh, the teams who have been uh, very lucky with injuries, I mean, they have been able to play with the uh, almost ideal team most of the time have been Carolina, Florida, San Jose, Washington and New Jersey. And uh, uh, with these ESPC Colossus Pets video productions, we want to give you uh, ideas where you can build up your own bets, own Colossus syndicates or own fixed odds betting uh, without paying for our analysis. I, I honestly believe ESPC analysis is of course worth the uh, cost you pay me and my crew's salaries, but if you want build up bets yourself, uh, it's pretty good to use the information we give here. So keep in mind those teams which I mentioned have been lucky or unlucky if injuries and give one, two, three, four extra percentages for the team which has been unlucky with injuries and vice versa because the betting market does not reflectly reflect 100% or accurately to the injuries. Then uh, the teams which have been lucky or unlucky when you kind of compare how we have looked like in the eyes and how we uh, advanced statistical indicators has been so far compared to the games won lost or goals scored allowed. Uh, then you can make uh, uh, to the weaver side, I tell you that the mystical voice behind the camera is one of my NHL experts, and that's the technique of our uh, video production. But uh, so when you can uh, ask team by team, but just shortly, if I name uh, teams which have been uh, lucky, as explained earlier, with uh, shooting and saving percentages combined, they are unlucky ones, Detroit, LA Kings and New Jersey Devils. And the lucky ones so far have been Boston and St. Louis, even taking into account 
but of course Tuukka Rask is a brilliant goaltender for Boston and uh, uh, St. Louis have Tarasenko and uh, uh, so on. These are counted in. Too long story to explain the full story. And uh, then if we take expected goals as a measurement, not shooting saving luck as in the previous one, then with X goal indicators, well, we are partly the same. We can add to the unlucky ones, believe it or not, or our scenarios has even been unlucky, even if they are bad. And the lucky ones, apart from St. Louis, uh, have been Winnipeg Jets and New York Rangers. Okay, to summarize, could you offer us three teams to bet and three teams to lay? Well, we are, we are quite the same as uh, those uh, lucky-unlucky indicators. Uh, of course, occasionally it can happen that the team has been lucky, but there is good reason to kind of still bet on it. And it can be an unlucky team which is worth laying for certain uh, reasons. But this time uh, uh, it happens to be that teams to bet from uh, uh, this 16th of uh, January, so I would say uh, that information remains valid at least to end of January, but then think yourself if something has changed or market market has reacted market reacts occasionally quite fastly but uh, say last two weeks of january i would say i would guess of course have a look what for actual odds are but my best guess is that detroit la kings and new jersey devils are the teams which could easily offer good value. Uh, I have certain sources in Las Vegas who say which teams are popular among uh, uh, the general public, among uh, those tickets written in the sports books. And then I have some old friends who we occasionally talk and I know what teams, toes, and hits the pros like. What part of betting and betting uh, money comes from wise, clever sharks, and what part comes of so-called recreational ponders, or I don't want to be negative, but some call them kind of... Uh, uh. So, uh, I know that uh, not a lot of uh, recreational better money comes or ends to Kings, New Jersey Devils or uh, Detroit Red Wings. The ordinary people never or never but rarely think about the value. They don't multiply the win probability with the odds or return for the risk. They just try to hit their bets and their coupons, and they built up their Colossus bets tickets of the favorites winning uh, clearly and normal games favorite by two goals and not enough draws. Not, of, not many of us can take opinion that that will be a draw, of course, no game will be a draw, but they are good value quite often with Colossus. And, uh, so, long story, but uh, Detroit Red Wings stinks, say the most hockey fans, at least in America. Well, they are a really bad team in the middle of the rebuilding process. That old traditional nice team from the Scotty Bowman area is, I would guess, is as worst as it ever had been or will be. And uh, now we are within Manta and Atnasio, uh, and they are very kind of important players for a team 
who has a problem with scoring anyway. But uh, Detroit, <laughs> we can't be that bad much longer. And uh, have a look then uh, Manta and uh, Atanasio return. Uh, and <laughs> if their shooting luck, shooting saving luck is now 0.95, when one is the normal number and uh, it's quite, quite a lot of mean revert. So uh, Detroit can't be that bad. And don't love me in uh, Starling's dying day, 5th of March, that Detroit has lost and lost and lost. Of course they lose and lose and lose. But if you bet them with handicap and decent odds, you can still do okay. And uh, my money will be, I know already, will be with Red Wings, even if I lose biggest part of the money line bets and with handicap bets, I should be okay. Well, LA Kings, I, I'm honest, I have already lost money on them because uh, already in, in uh, autumn, I expected LA Kings to bounce back stronger. But I mean, what you have won or lost should not have that much with your power rating estimates. Of course, it should have be something to do with your staking because you have to control the risk with your betting capital. But uh, I keep betting LA Kings. Their goaltending has been a great disappointment. It should be better. And their uh, shooting percentages, we are not kind of, you know, bang, 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 shooting Wild West team, but uh, we are better one that we have shown. And uh, Las Vegas reports that they are you know, normally California teams are pretty popular in Vegas in our sports, but LA Kings is virtually isolated, say my sources. And uh, New Jersey Devils is a tricky one. Again, I have lost with them. They are very turbulent, lots of uh, chances. They sacked their general manager, a man I believed would have been pretty useful. And uh, Taylor Hall, it's very hard to say normally teams who trade off a superstar towards get some kind of more balanced talent. Normally they do well. That being said, Taylor Hall is really good. So, I mean, most of you who watch this know more about NHL ice hockey than I do. I can probably process for information very well, but uh, use your own knowledge of the players, how the games look like, when you decide if to follow my advice or not. I don't know. I give you, thinking free person, ideas to get more out of your sports spending, monetary and emotionally. So those three teams, uh, I would guess my money is on. Then uh, those ones, I'm happy to lay the bets or to isolate some combos out of a Colossus bets positions and uh, teams to bet against are uh, New York Rangers, St. Louis and Boston. I hate to say New York Rangers because as all things, I'm a fan of Capo Cac my son has Henrik Lundqvist uh, goaltender shirt in his room and uh, Mika Zibaniad is in my book one of the superstars. I uh, uh, respect him even more than the NHL experts in general. But that being said, Rangers is quite a well bet team always, so you always pay a slim extra tax by betting Rangers. And secondly, as I explained, they have been lucky. Now, a prime example, of course, uh, Lundqvist and the other goaltender who is now actually starting to take over from Henrik, uh, they are good goaltenders, and of course, Kapokak 
kakkoissa natural gold score, Chibaneadis, good, we have plenty of other uh, good uh, forwards, but still, even then that is taken into account as we do in our ESPC uh, uh, counting and mathematical models, Rangers has been lucky. Winnipeg Jets bit the same uh, with those percentages via Patrick Line and thing, uh, but uh, it's, it's a long story, but even their uh, figures uh, don't explain how many points they have. And St. Louis, that is very important. They have, uh, their shooting percentage is something around 11. That is uh, surreal. And especially now when Tarasenko is off, and remember, Tarasenko is a playmaker as well. So uh, St. Louis can't keep going on like that. And uh, remember me always as a value man. Quite often I sound like a lunatic talking about Super Bowl winners or Stanley Cup winners. But believe me, those teams are very well backed. My Vegas sources say that uh, most branded or overbet teams this season have been Boston Bruins, Las Vegas Kings, Washington Capitals still, and uh, St. Louis. And most uh, forgotten and isolated teams, of course, has been New Jersey, Ottawa, and Detroit. So it's not only how teams look like and how they play, it's partly how they are. Uh, kind of, you know, uh, backed and uh, how their potential is estimated by the betting money. Okay, what do you think about the upcoming Stanley Cup playoffs? For example, one of the favorites is Tampa Bay. Any thoughts about Tampa Bay Lightning? Well, that's, that's typical. Uh, when we are talking about betting value, very rarely we can find the really good teams and good contenders uh, to be bet because they are so respected, nor to be laid because the very best ones, like Manchester City, Liverpool in soccer, or as you mentioned, Tampa Bay, I would add Toronto, they are so good teams that, you know, even if they are very much backed, you can't find value of those which really are good ones. The better value you find from the teams like might be Boston Bruins, which is almost as good as those top two, but which are much more bad. Uh, Tampa Bay is in my book uh, the best team in NHL, and they were the best teams last year, even if they uh, were uh, eliminated 4-0 uh, early in the playoffs. Things happen. One thing which should be remembered from me, year 2100, is that I always say there is more luck in everything than anybody can or wants to think about. And Tampa Bay was extremely unlucky last year. This season, I don't know if it's something emo emotional or just bad luck, but they were uh, uh, underperforming uh, until they uh, traveled to Stockholm, Sweden to play those uh, two games against Buffalo Sabres in uh, November. And now uh, I don't uh, buy those uh, stories that they had kind of good spirit when they traveled to the home country of Victor Hedman. But it might have a slight effect. It's not that big, but it had might have been a small uh, kind of uh, reason, catalysator, to say so. But now Tampa Bay is playing more and more to their level. They have not had very uh, remarkable injury news. So uh, I do not dare to play uh, lay Tampa Bay Lightning and they are my Stanley Cup favorite at the moment. 
Okay, any thoughts about Toronto Maple Leafs and their recent coaching change? <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, I uh, spoke with uh, four-time Stanley Cup winner Esa Tikkanen another day in uh, one Finnish uh, uh, event. Tikkanen, uh, we were talking about ice hockey management coaching thing, and Tikkanen took up a point that in his days uh, coaches were very kind of authoritative and uh, kind of shouted and told to the players what to do. And uh, nowadays generation, we have a great Finnish high school coach, uh, Jukka Jalonen, who is a charismatic leader, but very communicative. And Tiki Tikkanen claims that for nowadays young players who have uh, been living in kind of, you know, more soft uh, overall life and culture and communication than those people with Viktor Tihonov or Scotty Bowman days on 80s. You know, when those legendary coaches shouted, everybody listened and performed. Nowadays, if a person like uh, Babcock shouts, it might be that those young talents go kind of very kind of, you know, uh, to a stressful defensive situation and you can't get the best out of it. It could be a coincidence, but it might be that uh, there was kind of overall burnout in Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, it could, could be kind of story and narrative afterwards, but what I know is that I was wrong. Toronto Maple Leafs got better than they sacked Babcock. And uh, now even the players are somewhat criticized after everything, but uh, I think there is potential. And if everything says click, Toronto Maple Leafs might be the best challenger for Tampa Bay Lightning. After all, Stanley Cup is a lottery because the uh, playoffs, uh, <laughs> that all added the best wins in best of seven is complete bullshit. Of course, it's less random best of seven compared to best of five, but there is still lots of randomness. Okay, uh, Colossus Pets uh, pools offer a really good value where you can get extra edge for your NHL knowledge and skills due to that the uh, foreign punters, typical Colossus Pets bettors, uh, build up the coupons uh, in a way which is not optimal. Secondly, dare to bet the underdogs and teams which, as Americans say, stink because they offer good value. This season, as during the most seasons, underdogs and especially away underdogs have been, at least for me, very profitable. And uh, for third, use for your advantage all the modern uh, uh, indicators like shooting, saving, luck, expected goals or even brutally the shots because they give a better overall picture of a team standard than just one lost. Okay, thank you, Jorma. Thank you.